Hello everybody, welcome to Love Shack Entertainment's 12 Days of Shacksmas. Today is the sixth day in our 12 day expenditure into the holiday season, and every day brings with it a different opening. Today we are opening Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. And I remind you to check back on the 12th day as we're going to be doing a huge holiday giveaway, so you don't want to miss your chance to win. Let's go ahead and get this cracked open, and last time we took a look at the uh, Master of Pendulum Structure deck. It's a pretty cool deck, and uh, looks like this is some kind of titanium plastic. Doesn't seem to want to come off. We got it though, don't worry. So we've opened these before on the channel, so I'm probably going to just keep this, the uh, promo packs closed for the sake of uh, simplicity. Looks like Walmart's starting to re-release these now that the holiday season is upon us once again. <laughs> so we have five packs and this promo pack. Let's open up the promo pack quick. Seal of Oricalcos, Dark Necrofear, Guardian Iatos, Five-Headed Dragon, and then a couple of tokens. So, pretty cool. Put these right up top here. And hopefully, I have sleeves. So hopefully we get something cool out of here. Um, looking for like Upstar Goblin, or Regeki, or Solemn Warning maybe, which I think is a common, so I guess I should probably set my expectations low. Let's see. The Light Hexial Fusion, Union Attack, Mystic Swordsman Level 6, Hand of Nephthys, Ultra Rare Morphing Jar, Honestly, I didn't remember that was a thing, but it's banned, so. Secret Hair Flying Kamakiri number one. Starting off really strong. And a Super Air Shift, just to uh, complete the trifecta. And then one Magical Dimension and Horus, the Black Flame Dragon level four. We'll sleeve up the good cards as usual, so I will not sleeve up any of these. Let's go to pack number two. Guardian Bow. The Earth Hexial Fusion. Soul Taker, that's not bad. Rare Ectoplasma, Ultra Rare Swords of Revealing Light, not too bad. Uh, Secret Rare Seven Tools of the Bandit, I guess that one's decent. Super Rare Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. And then Dark Magic Attack and Wadapon, at least it's adorable. Let's go to pack number three, glad I spent 30 bucks on this so far. Definitely feel as though I've profited. Spell Economics, Rite of Spirit. Thousand Knives, Archfiend of Gilfer, that's a rare. Ultra Rare Mind Control, I guess that's okay. Secret Rare Left Arm of the Forbidden One, that's pretty sweet. Just wish he had all the rest of the pieces, but that's pretty cool nonetheless. And a Super Rare Morphing Jar too, which, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure is banned actually, so. Uh, still cool though. Silent Swords in level 3 and DNA Transplant. Alright, got two left. I'm gonna move these over just a little bit. I guess I should probably toss a sleeve on Exodia because, awesome. And I'll sleeve up Mind Control, too, even though it goes against my better judgment. It's not terrible. And we've got, uh, yeah, man, it's a couple. Christmas. You're right, I should be giving. All right, Detonate. That was Ben in the background, by the way. He's still sick from September, but hopefully he'll be getting over it soon. <laughs> be coming back to make some videos uh, at the start of the new year. And we're hoping to have some video game reviews coming for you at the start of the year, too. So uh, we got Detonate. Dark Flare Knight, Rare Hidden Soldiers, Ultra Rare, Gilgarth. That's terrible. Secret Rare Prohibition, that's actually a beautiful card. Uh, a Super Rare Trihorn Dragon, awesome, great. Horus, Tricky Spell 4, and Beta the Magnet Warrior. Sleeve up the Prohibition because it's really cool looking. And one pack left, let's see if we can get a Max C. Oh wait, that's impossible actually. Let's see if we can get something. Another Detonate. Alright. The Earth, Hex Sealed Fusion, Malice Doll of Demise, come on, Christmas Gods. Give me s ah, limiter removal. That blows. Arcana Knight Joker, that's pretty sweet actually. Uh, big fan of this card actually. They're really, really hard to come by. Secret Rare is pretty beautiful, so can't complain too much about that one. Diffusion Wave Motion, and then uh, level up, Guardian Elma, and Silent Swordsman level 7. Alright, so let's do a quick recap of the commons there. Nothing really noteworthy aside from the stuff we put aside. Uh, the rares, as follows. Uh, ultra rares, pretty lackluster. We did get the mind control and of course the Gilgarth, which is just amazing. Uh, but other than that, not too much. <laughs> oh, don't forget Morphing Jar, sorry. Put that there. Secret rares were definitely the best uh, with Exodia, Arcana Knight, Joker, and Prohibition, and of course those other wonderful pulls there. And then for the supers, just a load of crap, really nothing noteworthy, but at least you could buy a list, some of it and sell it to companies, make some extra cash or something for the holidays. 
All right, well, in the interest of Christmas spirit, I will say this was a wonderful opening, and you should really appreciate what you have around you. But in the meantime, I hope everyone is having a happy holiday season, and I will see you tomorrow for the next installment of the 12 Days of Shacksmiths. Happy holidays from Love Shack Entertainment, and we'll see you next time.